Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baji. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Today God sent me to tell you to watch your company, the people that you flock with, the people that you call your friends and you share with because there's a level of influence that they bring into your life, positive or negative, depending on the type of friendship you keep. So it is important you watch your company. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33, the Bible tells us, it says, Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. You know, this is the truth of God's word. There's nothing that can be done against the truth, but for the truth. You may think that your friend is not influencing you and you are the one influencing him. It's not true. The Bible tells us that evil communications corrupt good manners. You see, bad friendship brings into your life bad influence. Good friendship brings into your life good influence. That's what the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 20. It says, He that walketh with the wise shall be wise, but the companion of fools shall be destroyed. That means even if a man is not wise to a degree and he walks with the wise, because of the influence of the wise on him, he becomes wise. In the same vein, a man who walks with foolish men, somehow to a degree, you see that that foolishness will rub off on him. And that's why it's important you don't let your friends choose you. All right, you know the kind of influence you want in your life, you choose your friends. Choose people that can influence you positively. Choose people that can influence you in a good way. The Bible says, iron sharpened iron. So a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. So you don't fellowship with wood. If you are iron you see you hurt the wood and somehow as you keep cutting that wood over and over again you go blunt you see so but iron sharpened iron that means if you have a friend that is of good influence the both of you can influence each other positively and that good influence is heightened because two are better than one you know Positive influence with positive influence, you know, brings about more positive influence. Negative influence with positive influence brings about neutrality. And that's why it's important you don't go blunt by fellowshipping with wood. Iron sharpened iron. Watch your company. Choose your company aright. It is important you make your choice when it comes to friends. And the Bible tells us he who has a friend must show himself friendly that means if you have an ungodly friend you must show yourself friendly you know uh, with that ungodly friend and somehow when you are you know befriending ungodliness you're actually indirectly working against God because friendship with this world the Bible says is enmity against God and that's why it's important you choose your friends all right don't say well we are just friends we just do business together and that's all but you share deep things you know with each other and does he say something that somehow after the discussion you have to consider does does he you know carry himself in ways and manners that you know somehow it catches your attention and you want to act that way subsequently when you have the opportunity to act Listen, beloved, somehow he or she is influencing you. So choose the right company. Praise God. And this is how to reach your goal in life. Watch your company. Evil communications corrupt good manners. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.